good day. The state television company Western Army represents the most important news for today, today's broadcast. On the eve of Independence Day, I will no longer be afraid of being Armenian. The experience of defense of Armenia in the French parliament. Rwanda has removed the commemorial reference, French press. The famous journalist made a pro-Armenian post. A conference on the protection of the heritage of Artsakh in Europe. Venera Magarian highlighted the peculiarities on the status of Armenians in the Ottoman period. January 19, 2024 is celebrated the 104th anniversary of the de facto recognition of the state of Armenia in the territory of Western Armenia. On the eve of Independence Day, Western Armenia TV will introduce you to Western Armenia and its symbols. Today we will introduce the brief list of the rights granted to Armenian people, the possession which is an important for every Armenian. On January 18, 1990, the Paris Peace Assembly started their work in Paris, which included a special commission on reparation, a special commission the purpose of which was to bring together the material losses of the countries and people which had not uh, represented it in the commission, to give an official protest to their compensation. Material compensation obligations were put on all the defeated states, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire. Germany, for example, completely repeated the material compensation obligation imposed on it only in June 28. The Republic of Turkey, the successor of the Ottoman Empire, avoids from this obligation towards Western Armenia till these days. The Armenians of Kilika accepted the declaration on the independence of Kilika according to the UN Declaration on Granting Independence to Colonized Countries and Peoples adopted by UN General Assembly on December 14, 1960. More than 60 countries in the world gained independence. Decision regarding the recognition and condemnation of the genocide committed against the Armenian people. Kazem Access, who did not take the initiative to change his name to Sarkis Narcissan before the death of the Harang Dik and free missionaries because he was afraid of that circumstance, now says that he will no longer be afraid of being Armenian. The fact that Kazem Access declared his Armenian identity and applied to the court is an important development from the point of view, getting rid of the fear after the murders. Political journalist Hako Badalian inferred in the French Senate. On January 17, the French Senate will discuss a resolution aimed at the condemning Baku's aggression towards Artsakh, as well as preventing a possible aggression towards Armenia. Undoubtedly, this is important cross party initiative of the French Senate should be welcomed and evaluated pos positively. At the same time, we should not forget that the two chambers of the French Parliament twice adopted key resolution related to Artsakh in the three year period after the 44 day war. In November 2020, the French Parliament adopted a resolution calling on the official Paris to recognize the independence of Artsakh, recording the borders as the 1914 ceasefire. The Tutsi Genocide Memorial, which was opened in 2004, is located in Gigali, the capital of Rwanda. A tour inside the building takes the visitor through the in the depth, visual and audio documentation, of documentation on the country's history. The French newspaper Le Point writes that the explanatory room is dedicated to uh, another genocide that have co been committed since the beginning of the 20th century. However, there is no trace and then no any information on the genocide against the the Armenian nation. It is noted that the first there was a wall dedicated to the genocide committed towards Armenian, but later it were, was removed. According to a source familiar to Rwanda politics, the explanation is political. Turkey has offered Paul Kagam's government to take over the major infraction project of Rwanda. He added that the Turkish president regime had only one condition, and it was approved in Rwanda political circus to remove the mention on the genocide committed against Armenia in 1894 from the museum. Shayan Razaev, a well-known journalist who was um, arrested in Baku, made a remarkable post a few days ago regarding Baku letter. Aliyev claims regarding the opening of the Zangezur corridor, essentially putting forward the pro-Armenian thesis. The journalist's remark was criticized by Azerbaijan Patriot users. The authorities of Azerbaijan, which don't hide their ag aggressive ambition towards their territories of Armenia and build the entire logic of negotiations with Armenia within the framework of the corridor terminology. 
It should be noted that in response to the statements of official Baku and Ankara about the opening of Zangezur corridor, Yerevan always noted that there is no corridor logic in the negotiations. On January 24, a conference entitled Protection of Armenian Culture and Religious Heritage in Artsakh will be held in European Parliament. Miriam Lexman, a member of the European Parliament, reports this in a post. In thousand years old Armenian culture and religious heritage in Artsakh is under immediate threat of destruction. Join me and the experts to discuss what can be done to protect Armenian heritage, was said in the report. To participate in the event, you must register till January 19. The publishing house of Madan Adaram published the new historical Armenians of Syrian in the Ottoman period by Venera Magarian, researcher of the Madan Adaram. The book is dedicated to the study of the history, socio-economic status and spiritual cultural life of the Armenians of historical Syrian during the Ottoman period, in particular the 16th-18th centuries. It is reported from Madan Adaran that an attempt was made to reveal and emphasize the peculiarities on the status of local Armenians in the context of the Ottoman Empire's policy towards non-believers. The material is composed on the basis of Armenian and foreign language sources, documents and literature. This was all for today. Goodbye.